All right, y'all, hello, this is Brandon again. I'm gonna go over a few things with the FANUC teach pennant here, just to kind of make sure that you guys understand how the general navigation of this thing works. So basically, in order to jog the robot, you'll need to be in on mode on the teach pennant. And then down here on the panel itself, you will need to have this key switch turned to the hand position. And the reason it's called the hand position is because it's like a hand pointing like this. And the other position is auto. So, that being said, now that we are in on and in hand, we can now use the teach pennant to jog the robot and then navigate and make programs and such. So in order just to jog the robot, all you're going to do is make these, these dead man switches on the back. You're just going to halfway press those in and then hit this reset button here. So the reset button will make everything go green up here. As long as there's no red, we're good to go. Then all you have to do to jog the robot is hold shift and then hit one of the dimension buttons like such. So I'm going to bump the speed up to 50% so you can actually see the robot move. Now you're seeing it move and it's in joint mode. So if I hit cord, this cord button here, it'll change how it jogs. You'll see it change from joint and I'm going to hit it twice to send it to world. So... I'm going to jog the robot again. And there's that right there, just using this shift and blue buttons. Anytime you're doing anything else, let go of the shift button. But once we have that done, we've just verified that we can jog the robot and there are no faults. So I want to go over the three buttons over here. Uh, we have the select, the edit, and the data button here. That's kind of how we're going to get to uh, current programs and how to create programs. So if I go ahead and hit the select button, you'll see it takes me to a list of programs. You can create a new one by hitting the create button. You can also delete, monitor, whatever you want to do here. But when you're creating a new program from scratch for one of the labs, you'll actually use this create button. Then you'll pick a way to type in the name, hit enter twice, and then you'll have a blank slate to go with. So once you're done there, you can go ahead and we'll try the data button this time. And what this does is it takes you to the last program that was being worked on uh, with this controller. And then, I'm sorry, that was the edit button. Sorry, edit button will take you to the last uh, program that was being worked on on this teach pennant. Now if I hit the data button. Now we are in data registers. This is how you'll use counters and different things to track number of cycles. Uh, anything you need to keep count of you, or anything that needs to be tracked, you're going to use data registers. But if I hit the F1 button and go to type and then go to position register, this is where we actually set our positions that we can pre-program. So this first one, for instance, is home position. So if I lift this up a little bit and I stay here on home position and then I do uh, shift move to, it'll actually move to the pre-programmed home position. So I'm going to hold shift and hit F2 and you'll see the robot is moving. I just hold the shift button down. You don't have to hold F2 down, but you just hold the shift button down and it will move to the home position. So that is our pre-programmed home position. So again, just wanted to go over your main three here, the select, the edit, and the data buttons. And that's kind of all I really wanted to cover on what they do. Thanks.